as I spoke about in the previous video, I was talking about the Germanic culture in southern Brazil. Now, and I was talking about an actor, which I couldn't think of his name at the, at the time, but his name is Michael Palin, a very famous British actor. But actually, it was a BBC documentary, and the the name of the city is called Pomerati, or you know, and it's called the name of the video is a pom a Pomeri a Pomeranian teleportation. So Pomeranian teleportation, the most German city in Brazil. So he went to a Germanic city in Brazil. Uh, very very interesting document documentary and you know the name of the city is called Pomerati and everyone there speaks German or at least you know, the majority of the population speak German and I thought it was interesting with that culture now as I spoke about in one of my earlier videos it seems like when you when you leave your your country to go to another one even though it, you know it, it could even be in exile you're leaving because you were wronged by the government, you know, pilgrims, other things, whatever it may be. But you tend to cherish the culture that you fled from and you don't want to let go of it. It seems like the, the natural thing to do to hold on to it. So so the culture, the tradition, it it can be separated, easily separated from the government, two distinctly different things. And it seems like the, the way we have preserved a lot of things in history is, as we look back, we can see people escaping. I mean, look at the Amish, for example. They have held on to a lot of traditional things, especially the language. Um, they're, they're probably speaking a dialect that, that has been dead for years. And even in southern Brazil, they're probably speaking a dialect that may not be spoken in, in Germany anymore, but they have preserved it through holding on to that culture that they they left. And they didn't leave Germany because, hey, I love Germany, but I'm going to leave it. They left Germany, probably a lot of them did for, for negative reasons. And it's still interesting that you see this culture down there that's very traditional, the way they dress, the way they speak, the customs that they do. Um, it's definitely something on my my bucket list. So when you're looking at the diversity in Brazil, as, as I was talking about in a previous video, you see a lot of diversity throughout Brazil, and it's very, very interesting. So the landscape probably shapes the culture to some degree. And Sao Paulo, a lot of Italians went there. Now, a couple of Italians that I know, I, like, I have several good friends that are Brazilian Italians. And they were telling me that one of the reasons why you see like Brazilians living close together, even though there's a lot of land, so that they don't have to do that, they said that it's probably because of Italian culture the Italians like to be close close to each other and, you know, talk and, and yell at each other, I guess. But the, uh, the Italian culture is, is really nice. It's really a delight, you know, very friendly. I've, I've been, you know, when you get invited to their houses, the whole family's there. And it doesn't matter if they're liberal, conservative, um, communist, capitalist, libertarian. When they get together, they may argue, but they still love each other. You know, it's a really good good thing to see. And you know, we need we need more of that in the United States. We need to be able to to agree to disagree, argue with each other, but you know, still love love one another. And that's one of the I think problems in the US as people have become isolated. So now we're heading into coast Coast of Azul, which is blue, blue coast. And I might have said blue beach in a previous video, but it's actually blue coast, coast of Azul. And very beautiful area. This is one of the main tourist attractions. However, maybe um, 
five years ago and ten years ago too. Uh, a couple of different times where I came here, and the place seemed desolated. So what? So they did something to this, or it could be because of the time of of the year too. But I've been here, and it looks like everything's closed down. But it was extremely vibrant, full of life, as you'll see. Um, very nice around here. Now I'm I'm going to get to the end of this video, and I filmed some other videos as well. They're going to be short videos of the local area. From I'm going to go up on a pier and walk around. So there's some good videos some good views of around the area so uh, make sure that you you know search for those videos if you want to see some of the scenery around there uh, you know maybe sort of a panoramic view panoramic view around the area but this is a this is a really nice area here I, this is one of my favorite places to go and it, it's a, there's some good things good um, touristic points on here there's one place I'm going to go to, you know, I think it's at the end of this video. No, it's going to be on one of the shorts as well. I'm going to walk through this a little bit of a, it's kind of a small shopping mall. It's a very rustic environment and nice view. So let me get into culture now. Culturally down here, and my mouth is getting a little bit dry. Um, so the culture down here. Is, it's really it's really nice so of course you're gonna have negative things everywhere so you know I don't want to really focus on the negative um, it's, it's there it exists and but with that being said Brazilians are very uh, giving people and you know give some some examples like what on the while on this trip, you know any any guy there like there's a guy he's selling he was selling like um, ice cream you know he had like a little ice cream cart and he's pushing it around selling it you know it's hot outside well this guy can walk into to any restaurant and they they will give him filtered water without hesitation yeah you know, this this guy he he basically looks like a, a homeless guy. And I don't know if if all restaurants would be, you know, positive towards a guy walking in, like in the U.S., walking in and asking for water. And a lot of times, uh, there's one restaurant that I go to quite a bit. They serve some really good uh, Brazilian barbecue. And every day, they close at three o'clock to give food to anyone that that wants it. So they'll serve plates of re you know really good food. Not not just um you know kind of leftovers but i mean it's, it's leftover of the food that people were just eating five minutes earlier that people were paying for and it's not a cheap cheap place so this is coast azul here and it's um blue coast it's nice and you know look at my short videos and you can actually see the um the area around here it's very beautiful you can see the mountains the the you know off in the distance you'll be able to see the volcano from up on the pier so i'll be up on the pier and it'll have a, a different perspective that'll be nice to see so culturally brazil is very similar to us with diversity different languages different groups and but it's, it's very similar to the us too I mean, it's a melting pot of different cultures. And there's been times, like, I live in a semi-rural area when they go to the, the very rural areas. It looks like somewhere in Florida, Alabama, Georgia, some, Savannah, someplace like that. So it's very similar. Thank you for joining me on this Brazilian adventure. If you enjoyed exploring Brazil with me, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to Lost in Brazil for more exciting content and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Share your thoughts and questions or suggestions in the comments below. I love hearing from you. And until next time, obrigado 
and safe travels.